welcome to a quick video on how to use a collection of mods that I've uh, set up on the workshop. Um, it's for helping to make screenshots and a couple people might have been a little bit confused about what all those mods were for and what you can do with them. So I'm going to show you just a very, very small amount of what you can do with those mods. Um, and then show you what type of screenshots you can take with them. And then you guys can start experimenting on your own and go from there. So I'm just going to set up a little um, shot right here where blue four are coming around the fence and the op four are coming down the street. And so to do that, one of the negatives is I don't like this bush that's coming through the fence. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and get rid of the bush. And to do that, I'm going to go into Systems, Environment, and then Hide Terrain Objects, and I'm going to click it on the bush. Notice it got rid of the fence as well, and I really don't want the fence to go. So what I'm going to do is double click on the Hide Terrain Objects and tell it what I want to hide. I don't want to hide fence, buildings, or other. I just want to hide that vegetation. And I'm going to go ahead and say OK, and now the bush is gone. The negative right now is this um, module is showing in the editor. And when I take my screenshots, even if I take everything away, it's kind of still visible with the circle on the outline. So what I need to do is select the hide terrain objects here, go down here and add a new layer. Then I'm going to double click on this layer and prevent it from being able to change and hide the visibility. Now. The module is still there, it's still doing what we need it to do, but it's not visible in the editor at all. Second, I need to add some blue for. So we're just going to use real simple rifleman, put them near the fence, roughly the direction I want, and I'm going to add a couple other riflemen behind him and make a small squad. Now, when you're making your own screenshots, you can use any mods you want to give them accessories, change their look, whatever you want. Um, by default, these guys have all different helmets. I'm not going to worry about it right now, but if you were making your own screenshots, you might want some consistency between them. The next thing, one of the mods that I recommended was called Popox Artwork Supporter and you can come and see that it has a bunch of functions um, on its workshop page it has a link to this Bohemia forums post and it gives you some of the keys that are available the main ones we're interested in are the control Q control E there are some other things that you can look into um, fake weapon fire for doing your screenshots is great um, wildlife spawner simple object placer, all those things are really nice to be able to make simple screenshots. But the main one is the animations viewer and to paste the animation into a unit. So let's go look at how to do that real quick. So this first person, I don't want his gun pointing around. I want him looking like he's looking around the fence. So we're gonna go in control Q to open the animation viewer. Then you can go through all of the animations, a lot of those mods that are in that collection are literally just more animations. It gives you, I mean, you've got thousands of animations here. Um, you can say whether you want them with this handgun or without a handgun, no launcher, no binoculars. So it's your choice what you add and remove to the guy. But we're just going to do it real simple right now. Again, you could take a day or more going, through all, these, received. going through all these animations. As you can see, there are tons of them. You can turn off the loop. So if it's a, a moving animation, you can disable it so he's not moving. You can do different settings. Some of the other settings with that uh, Polox animation or Polox mod is to pull pox sorry 
mod is to um, to not do animations and stuff like that using different uh, triggers in the init. But simple. I'm going to go to some of the ones that are already easy. They're not moving. They're just standing. So again, real simple. So I want the guy that he's like looking around the corner. So that's good enough. He's approaching the corner, getting ready to go around it. Um, there might be a better one in here real quick. Ah, there we go. That one looks like he's looking around the corner. So what I'm going to do is simply control C, hit escape to go back. And now to paste it on him using the pull box is control E. And instantly he has that animation applied to him. No having to go into the init line of the rifleman, pasting anything into the init line and doing all that sort of stuff um, automatically does it. So you can see he just places it here. So we'll go ahead and cancel that. That's what I want. I'm going to just move him right up to the edge. If this grass is in your way, you can put a grass cutter there. Um, that is not a bush, so it is just part of the grass, I believe. Um, so you can put a grass cutter there if it's in way of your screenshot, but little bits of grass and stuff is helpful. So I don't all want all these guys looking the same, so I'm going to just very quickly give them slightly different animations. Control Q again, go into the animation viewer, make it look like this guy's in motion. So he's in a half step there. Control C. Go back out, escape, control E, paste it on him. So it looks like he's in a half step. So I might move these two back a little bit, like they're approaching these two already. We'll give this guy a kneeling down animation, control Q, bring up the viewer, find the kneeling down animation you want. I want him gun ready, there we go, control C. Escape, Control E to paste. Very simple. And all I'm doing is setting these guys up where I want them in the screenshot. And these last two may not even be in the picture, um, depending on how you crop it when you get it positioned. Now, to simply put some op for in, I'm just going to do some surrounding liberation army just because they don't look as advanced as CSAP. You could do FIA or whatever you want. But I'm just going to put an infantry section, place them down, rotate them holding shift, drag them up a little bit. Obviously, that's not good positioning. So I'm just going to reposition them, look like they're maybe in a slightly calm formation. So you just drag them where you want them. Sorry about all my pop-ups there. I am in TeamSpeak. So, let's put them in a slightly staggered column. <coughs> Sorry. And now I'm going to take the screenshot. And so you just position the camera and the angles wherever you want. Notice I still, I'm not really getting this guy. I really don't want to cut his gun off. So it would be better if he's not in the shot at all. So maybe something like that. You don't want your main character always right in the center. You want it off to the side just a little bit. It's called the rule of thirds. Um, the Pulpox does have a rule of thirds um, overlay that you can put on to kind of help you out. Um, I don't want the shadow in the left, so I'm going to just slightly shift everything. You can zoom in and zoom out with your mouse wheel. And we're getting pretty close to good composition. And the screenshots don't have to be perfect, but this is a nice layout here. Shows him looking around the corner, shows some action. These guys are walking. I could go and place animations on these guys if you want to do a lot more detail. Obviously, that's something you would want to do at this point. Um, to be honest, I like a free program that's available in Steam. It's called ShareX. That's what I use to do my screenshots. It simply looks like this. 
Um, I leave it on my second monitor so it doesn't get in my way, but it doesn't have to be there. Um, it has a private message received. Has a whole bunch of options for capturing, and then you can create workflows after the capture. What happens after the capture? Does it upload it? Does it copy it? Does it save it? All these things are all available and can be automatically triggered when I create a capture. So I'm just going to do capture window and my ARMA window. Even though this is on top of the ARMA window, it's not going to capture it. Once I capture it, you can see now I have it automatically uploading to Imager. And so it's going to do that for me. You can have it saved to your disk. You can have it uh, um, saved to your Google Drive, to your Google Photos, all up to you. And then we can go and take a look at what that image looks like. Notice the ShareX, even though it was on top, did not get captured because I told it to capture only that Armour window. So this is the screenshot. This is exactly what it looks like and looks pretty good to me. So play with those mods that I've recommended to you guys. Um, a lot of them do different things. Look at each of their descriptions. Most of them have some sort of comments on how to use them, that sort of thing. Oh, actually, I see that the mouse got captured. I need to recapture that screenshot real quick. So I am going to move it off screen so it doesn't capture the mouse. I think in ShareX there is a way to not capture the mouse. Um, and I also want to turn off my uh, um, MSI afterburner here so that it doesn't show up in my screenshot. So let me capture one more. All right. And so it is downloading or uploading it to Imager now. And this is what it looks like. So obviously not much different than the original. Um, sorry. Open URL. Um, and so what's nice is by saving it to Imager automatically, I'm not taking up my disk space. Um, but ShareX is nice. It's something to look into. Um, there is a lot of features of those mods, so take a look at them. Descriptions and links to the collection are in the um, description of the video. If you have any questions or comments, please go ahead and post them. I'd be happy to answer. Thanks for watching. No target.